Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I will share our experience on the mitigation technique for sympathetic relay operation during live to ground halt. Special thank to my technical advisor, Mr. Salmi and Mr. Faisal, for their advice and support to make this presentation happen. Before we start, let me introduce you with the project overview. Petronas Rapid is the largest oil and gas integrated refinery and petrochemical plant in Malaysia. The project will house oil refinery, nafta crackers, petrochemical plants, as well as a LNG import terminal and regasification plant. Rapid project sited in Pengerang, Johor, located on a single plot measuring about 6,239 acres. Rapid is located at the strategic location close to Singapore and connecting east to west international trade lanes. From the map, we can see there is a power plant located inside the complex and connected to 275 kV national grid system. The rapid project is powered by 1,600 MW utilities plant with four numbers of gas turbine generator and two numbers of steam turbine generator. There will be about 600 megawatt power export to grid and the rest will be consumed within the rapid complex. For the distribution system, there will be about three substations for 275 kV, 22 substations for 33 kV, and 55 substations for 11 kV system, and many more for lower voltages. The distribution voltage for the complex is varies from 400 volt up to 275 kV. For the project challenges, to develop such big project, there are more than 20 EPCC contractors to take care from engineering, procurement, construction until commissioning stage. So there are over 20 ETAP model from various EPCC contractors. A team led by my department was assigned to integrate all the model into one. We have to perform simulation of the complex as one integrated system. I can say that the integrated model reached up to 5,000 bars. If we look into 275 kV system, the cost of electrical equipment will be higher compared to equipment with lower voltage due to different dielectric strength requirement. In order to optimize the project cost, so for this project, 275 kV transformer is using solidly ground at the neutral point to achieve lower dielectric strength requirement. The transformer will be grounded at both sending end and receiving end. So by grounding at both end, of course, it will trigger a question. Is there any potential of security current, especially during live to ground fault? Besides the other challenges faced, there is a requirement from grid operator to limit the short circuit contribution to half. So we need to install short circuit limiting reactor at the interconnection point. The disadvantage is on our side so that we have to absorb the losses. The main key success factor for this integrated study are, number one, right model. We have to get the right model from all EPCC consultant, verify it and integration for integration purpose and make it work. Number two, physical setup. We have common working data 
that can be assessed by multiple engineers for various types of studies. So we can run load flow, short circuit, transient stability, harmonic, reliability, and many more using the same model. Number three, deep knowledge and competency. It is very important for us to get the right skill set to perform the job. We also have collaboration with academicians from universities. This is the 275 kV distribution system. During normal operation, it will operate in the radial configuration. But during abnormal situation, it also can be operated in ring circuit to maintain the N plus one requirement. For that purpose, there is interconnection between rapid 302 substation and rapid 401 substation. As I mentioned before, the power plant has four numbers of 435 MVA gas turbine generator and two numbers of steam turbine generator, which rated at 125 MVA and 282 MVA. About 600 megawatt will be exported to grid and about 600 megawatt will be utilized by rapid load. The 275 kV system can be simplified as per second diagram. Both 275 kV transformer at sending end and receiving end are solidly ground. As we discussed before, the cost will be lower due to lower dielectric requirement. The sending end transformer is using three winding type of, with delta as a tertiary winding. The secondary side voltage is 33 kV and grounded using neutral adding resistor. 275 kV and 33 kV system always in parallel configuration. EPCC contractor for this project had recommend to enable a fault protection as a backup to differential protection. They propose both directional and non-directional fault. And if we look from the TCC, there is no issue on the coordination. Everything looks good. As a solution, we use PD sequence of operation function in star mode. This is to identify any abnormal relay behavior which may not be observed in conventional TCC curve method. So we use this function to verify the protection coordination study done by over 20 to 20 EPCC consultant. This function really help us to evaluate the protection coordination proposed by them. But the model must be correctly done at the first place. Specific for 275 kV system, we simulate line to ground fault at one of the 275 kV transformer feeder. From the observation, we found there is an issue on the sympathetic relay operation at all 275 kV healthy feeders. The protection relay at healthy feeders unnecessary pickup, and if the main protection in this case, we refer to differential protection, fail to clear the fault, there will be wider outage for the complex. From this simulation also, the circulating fault current is more than one per unit. It's quite high and able to trigger phase overcurrent relay. This is the result from PD sequence of operation. We simulate live to ground fault at one of the transformer feeder here, and we can observe the circulating earth fault current everywhere. It can go up to maximum 364 M 
which exceed the CT rating of the line, which is 250M. We also can observe the direction of the current. On the left, where the fault simulated, the, cur the current flow is in both directions. It's going up and also going down. With the same fault, at the another substation, the current flow is only in one direction. To support this observation, we draw the positive sequence, negative sequence, and zero sequence network during life to ground fault. We can see that the delta winding has provided the ground fault for zero sequence current. This enables the earth fault current to flow through the healthy feeders during life to ground fault. Similarly, the same phenomenon will occur during life to ground fault at 33 kV system, but the, the, uh, but the earth fault current is small due to presence of the neutral, neutral adding resistor. From the existing protection scheme proposed by EPCC consultant, the 51N or 275 kV healthy feeder at healthy feeder will operate at 300 milliseconds. The flow of the circulating fault current is bidirectional depending on the fault location that cause the 67N also will operate during ring circuit configuration. As a conclusion, PD sequence of operation is a special feature to identify the direction and magnitude of circulating fault current during live to ground fault, especially for circuit with grounded at both ends. This will have engineering design firm and plant operator to understand the protection relay behavior during fault. That relay behavior may unable to detect during conventional using conventional TCC method. The earth fault current is quite substantial to cause sympathetic relay operation. The current from the simulation is more than the phase security. 67N, which is the directional earth fault, unable to mitigate the issue due to bidirectional flow and also the network configuration. It can be operated radial and also ring circuit because some consultants say that the directional relay is able to mitigate this issue. From our analysis, we recommend for project team to subscribe the following. Number one, install double main differential protection because the original design only have one that differential protection. This practice normally used in transmission network for a reliable protection system to clear for. Number two, while waiting for installation of double main protection, only enable directional up fault protection for transformer feeder with pickup current higher than simulated circulating fault current. This 67N will be the backup for single main protection and looking for toward the transformer side. Number three, as reference to common practice by 132KV and also 275KV transmission system, there is no requirement to enable a fault protection. Only use unit protection, protection such as differential, distance, and backup by overcurrent protection. With all the recommendation, that's all from me. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please post your question in the Q&A. Thank you.